Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miyoko Chan, episode number two. Okay, before I start, uh, I'm going to say something here. Uh, you might be hearing background noises, noises coming, you know, during these reactions. Uh, a festival is going on in my country in India, and it's going to last for almost a week. So this week. Uh, all the videos will probably be like this and yeah like the background noise might come in now and then while I'm talking especially so like yeah nothing I can do about that so I apologize for that in the beginning all right so okay so uh, the previous episode was the first episode of Miruko chan um, I as, I as I said before I am actually I was a manga reader I read like the first seven or eight chapters and uh, from what I gathered uh this 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 manga was very amazing and i just started the anime knowing that it will be good quality and the animation was top notch from the first episode it was really nice i loved the animation and stuff and also the whole atmosphere that they were able to make with the show and i think uh from the comments i was able to gather that they also included some anime only scenes which kind of uh, made this a better experience so i'm very glad about this adaptation and i hope this continues for the upcoming episodes as well and yeah it's a great start we saw um, multiple ghosts um a few of them were uh there's this one on the, in, in the bus stand then there's this baby ghost i think the ghost in the uh, uh in the bathroom then there was this ghost this tall ghost in the school like all these different ghosts and uh, yeah it's great <laughs> like it's going to be a great ride you know seeing Miyaduko always seeing this ghost and unable to say anything keeping her poker face with you know like with extreme what can I say like like damn I like hats off to her like when she's able to keep that face even when the ghost is basically on top of her you know kind of asking like can you see me can you see me and she can still keep that face and <laughs> yeah that's like a great great achievement so <laughs> anyways without further ado let's get started this is the second episode of miracle chan so yeah so i'll be putting the subtitles and the time i hear sync it to whichever is your preference let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Oh boy, now what? Oh yeah, this thing. <laughs> oh boy. Well, at least this ghost has some manners, you know? It's kind of greeting her. Instead of just asking her, can you see me? <laughs> oh boy oh now she's asking do you see me okay oh god <laughs> she's just frozen <laughs> um wh what <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah <laughs> this opening song is another thing <laughs> like <laughs> this tune it's <laughs> this tune is so upbeat <laughs> but the subtitles oh my god <laughs> I'm just reading the subtitles. <laughs> this Wow, the lyrics with this upbeat music is just like the complete opposite. 
of <laughs> the lyrics are just oh my god her saying that yeah just Okay. Danger scare. Yokota kun. Even though I've read the manga, I forgot most of the things, so yeah. Bridge. Oh, there was. What was the matter with her? Um. <laughs> oh my god. I feel as if she'll be able to see something when she opens the locker. <laughs> okay, that was. <laughs> Random information. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Yep. I feel like... I feel like there will be something. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's inside. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Oh, nothing is there. Or or maybe oh, okay. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my god. Her phone is on top. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Oh. Yep. There you go. Yes. Never open it again. Okay. Yes, Daijogu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hungry again? Oh my god, the, the the camera angles in this show. Ah! Yeah, but it also involves you in. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's the difficult part. Up. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um Wow, this girl is Uh, 
Oh no. I think someone's in, in, in the desk or something. Oh yeah, I remember this part. Oh my god. Yep, I know this part. Oh my. This is weird. Okay, nice. Ooh. What? Oh my What? 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 <laughs> Okay. Oh no. Oh, don't look back. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Is that thing still clinging to her? It's not. Oh no, it is. Oh boy. What a weird ghost. <laughs> it's not doing it, it's just clinging to her. What is she doing? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh boy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Alcohol disinfectant. Wait, will this work on the ghost? I does, will disinfectant work on ghosts? I don't think so. Obviously, this is not some holy water stuff. This is just disinfectant. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I don't think it's working. Oh no, it's working. Wait, so are ghosts like germs or something? What type of a logic is that? <laughs> okay, next time if I see a ghost, I'll get my disinfectant ready. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work by, by the end of it. <laughs> yeah okay i'll not use disinfectant if i see a ghost it might make it worse <laughs> oh my god oh uh, boy oh wow Ah! Uh, oh my god! Oh my god, that's nasty. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Okay. 
<laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, all right. I understand the ghosts. Wow. <laughs> Miracle's like uh Miko is like what the hell? Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Miko's pissed. <laughs> uh nah, she's just she's just given up. She's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fifty percent off. Oh, Mrs. Tom. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that girl. <laughs> I love her character design, like, you know, especially her hair, like, so unique. <clears throat> hmm. Oh boy, no, don't, don't, oh boy, here we go. M Mr. Ghost is in front of you. Oh, maybe not, maybe it's behind her. Namada? Oh, oh my God. Okay, yeah, scoot up. <laughs> You're in the wrong line. <laughs> Do oh my god, they're going to realize that he she can actually see her them all. Oh. And and they're even queuing up behind her. Yeah, what are they even lining for? Yeah, blame it on the phone. That's the best way to get out of this situation true yeah what are they lining for oh yeah i remember this part i i love like this is probably what really made me interested in this manga is it has such a unique way of showing like what ghosts actually do like you know and there's a lot of mystery going on i love this like especially this portion i, I remember this was the, probably the first portion i was really shocked while reading the manga <laughs> oh boy <clears throat> <laughs> Three of them. Okay. What? Some cat or something? Yeah. Okay, I feel like something's going to happen here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I think this thing is attached to the cat. Yeah, great idea. Did she take the cat home? Oh my god, she's not only taking the cat home, she's taking the, the ghost home as well, I guess. 
I'm sh okay. Yeah, there you go. Neither. <laughs> I don't think it allows ghosts as well. So <laughs> the cat can see the ghost. I think so. Um. Oh. Um, who the hell is this? Ah. Huh. Oh, maybe he's like a very nice guy or something. Like, you know, maybe his face just betrays. No, I think he's actually a good guy. Oh yeah, I remember this part. I think so. No. Yeah. Not not this person. Oh ho ho. Oh, whoa, this guy's like a, yeah, he has so many of these spirits haunting them, him. Where's the other guy? Oh, okay, the, the, the ghost went with him. Great. <clears throat> Alright, the other guy. Now, he's a nice guy, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, those are. The... Okay. Nice. Wow, they are these neko nekomatas? Yeah, I think so. No, because of the two two tails. These nekomatas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, this is the ending. I was like, why? Is... <laughs> oh boy, this part. All right, great episode. Um, I kind of remembered the stuff halfway. I wasn't able to realize what's happening until we went halfway through because, yeah, my memory is pretty bad. So <laughs> I I wouldn't usually remember stuff that I've ever. Read. I think the reason why I really don't remember most stuff is because I read so my many mangas and so much animes that. Everything gets like all mixed up within me and I really like you know, even mangas and animes that I've seen or read I'm unable to recall them quickly enough
<laughs> okay. Oh, there's still something left. All right, let's see. Nyagoroku. Oh, those scratches are actually from cats. <laughs> As I said, don't judge a book by the cover. Oh, is this like her, his wife or something? Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Oh, so th those two cats also. Oh no. Okay, that's it. All right. Wow, that was a nice, nice episode. <laughs> I'm saying it's a nice episode, but <laughs> with all the ghosts hovering around her, <laughs> kind of feel <laughs> bad for her. <laughs> so yeah, it 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 was a nice episode. By the end of it, it had a good kind of an ending, you know. But um, okay. So all right. So this episode here. Uh, as I said, I kind of remember stuff midway and I'm not sure how much chapters they have actually covered but this is probably end very soon me actually realizing what's going to happen because I've not read the manga that much. As I said, I think like the first six or seven chapters I've read and after that I'll, I'll probably be all in the dark. But for now, I think for the first two to three episodes where three or four episodes where it will be covering the first part of the manga I think I'll probably realize what's happening midway, but yeah, after that, I don't think I'm going to recognize stuff. But <clears throat> yeah, it's okay. Uh, so the first thing here is the where is it? The whole locker room uh, thing with the severed head. <laughs> My God, like that was freaky. Like trying to get your cell phone from. A ghost's mouth like yeah that's an experience that i don't want to <laughs> that i don't want to go through so wow and <laughs> she can't she she can't really even express anything in her face I, like you know like like who knows what the ghosts will do if they actually realize that she can see them like the the most common questions that the ghosts ask is can you see me so I wonder what's going to happen if she actually, if the ghosts actually realize that she can see them. Maybe, maybe they'll try to drag her down to, you know, to their, like, you know, world or something, you know, because she can see them. And like, normally humans are not supposed to see them. So something like that. Probably something like that is going to happen. And I don't think, like, you know, uh, Miko should even expect try to experiment <laughs> with this <laughs> like you know, like to try to see like yeah what like what's going to happen if i actually say that yeah i can see you like i don't think <laughs> she should try that <laughs> because obviously something bad is going to happen if she actually does that so yeah like poker face on and mm, yeah these type of stuff she, she she needs to get accustomed to it because yeah ghosts are everywhere Oh boy, I kind of wonder if there's a ghost behind me watching me recording this video or something. <laughs> Anyways, so okay, so um, as we see, like, you know, when she closes the locker door, she kind of, mm, like, you know, sits down and, like, like her, her strength goes out. And she was able to do that after she closed the locker door. So that the ghost, I wonder, uh, like, ghosts are kind of... You know, like they can, they permeable. They can go through stuff. I wonder, but it was inside the locker room. I'm sure it did not see that. <laughs> but yeah, now that was the first thing. Then we come to the next ghost, which is a perverted ghost. I think. Yeah, that was basically it. I think, and it it, it was just like you know. It's just like clinging to what was the girl's name? I always forget her name. Just a second, let me check out her name first. I'm talking about the orange shirt girl. Uh 
uh well, what's her name hana okay hana that's a that's a nice look easy name to remember i'll remember it from the next time hana and miko okay so <clears throat> hana like it, it was just clinging to hana and <laughs> you know what the funny part is actually seeing hana with her like you know usually ditzy attitude and just seeing weird stuff happening beside her which she doesn't even realize but M miko can see as like you know very clearly like like the contrast and like you know that that's the most funniest part here i think the the comedy here is the contrast between the characters like you know like as i said like you know hana is like a ditzy girl she's just like you know like kind of like an airheaded type of a character and she just does her own stuff kind of like you know it's like also like a hungry character you know those hungry characters who just eats <laughs> like <clears throat> she's that type of a character did she cute like you know kind of like hungry all the time that type of a character and <laughs> like that's one type of a character miruko is uh, not me I, I always call her miruko god damn miko <laughs> miko miko is a cool character you know like she's always stoic and kind of keeps a poker face most of the time and we also have the ghost now uh, the funny part here is like hana doing her own ditzy stuff the ghost doing its own scary stuff and um, miko watching all that and trying to keep a poker face like that's the funniest part here like <laughs> So, so such a weird dynamic <laughs> oh boy that's i love that you know like like you know like where we can see that you know in, in the in the in the infirmary anna's like oh i got the stethoscope um let me see like if i can listen to my heartbeat ah i can't yeah uh, i can't hear it must be because <laughs> of uh, of my boobs and then she like you know that's happening and then then the, the ghosts are all hovering on top of her M miko is just puzzled and shocked just standing <laughs> like what she doesn't even know what to do and yeah like <laughs> my god that's like uh, some kind of that that's like a, a really kind of comedic in a way and okay that the thing that actually was surprising and i i really do not re remember this portion is the disinfectant portion and like when she started spraying it i was like okay like does disinfectant even work on ghosts like the ghosts are not germs like why would they even work but i can kind of see how Mir miko was thinking you know like you know like she was like yeah let's see if a disinfectant actually works or what not and it seemed as if it worked in the beginning the ghost was kind of convulsing and then suddenly it get, got even more excited as it put it heads out head out and yeah that was like a wrong decision i guess you know like that i guess that made him even stronger or something <laughs> oh boy and uh, yeah and then we see like the 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 nurse i think that was the nurse yeah kido sensei he comes in and the ghost just runs towards her and Miko's like yeah like <laughs> what did I even expect oh my god that was that was kind of funny and okay now comes the next part which is the most interesting part here and as I said I actually did not re realize what's happening unless and until the middle portion and then I suddenly remembered that yeah this part was also in the manga which I read I think okay so here miko actually lines up in the ghost line and uh, like i don't know i feel the manga kind of showed more of this i can't remember but like, you know like in the anime the thing that they showed was kind of abrupt but i think the manga kind of showed a little bit more of it i can't remember but I, it might be <clears throat> my mistake or my <clears throat> I might be mis <coughs> misremembering things, but <clears throat> yeah. So the thing here is, this could have been the most dangerous, like you know, mistake that Miko made here. 
because she actually lines up in the ghost's line. Now, always the ghosts are always kind of trying to find out whether anyone can see them. You know, they are asking that, can you see me? Can you see me? So here, since Miko is lining up with the ghosts, I'm sure the ghosts must have realized that, yeah, something is fishy. Why is a human suddenly lining up behind me? Like, you know, like if you are a ghost and you always thought that, yeah, like no human can see me and then you suddenly see that a human comes and stands behind you, you must be suspicious. You must be like, wait a minute, can she actually see me? And I'm sure that would have happened. <laughs> but thankfully, Hana here, she says that, <clears throat> oh, like you're just like, you know, like always in your phone and distracted. So like, come here. And I think that probably kind of like, you know, made the danger factor go away because the ghosts probably thought about that. Like, oh yeah, okay, the, the human must be in its uh, uh, smartphone thing, you know, like <laughs> looking at it and got distracted. And uh, yeah, so that was like a very, what can I say, close call. Hana kind of saved her in a way, I guess. I wonder what would have happened. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, like, yeah, I, I don't think I should wonder what would have happened if Hana was not there. Uh, probably Miko would, would have come up with some kind of excuse, but I don't know. But yeah, anyways, so... <clears throat> okay, now the interesting part here, the thing that, as I said, the thing that actually really attracted me to this manga, and uh, the first few chapters that I read, is this portion, where we see that there's these ghosts lining up to be eaten by a bigger ghost. And... It's just eating them now this this portion really fascinated me because not only this portion i think there are a few portions after this as well which is very fascinating uh which shows what like you know these ghosts actually do you know weird stuff they do like one of the most weird thing is that the ghosts are actually always on like, you know on the lookout whether people are actually able to see them or not Another like you know thing that I kind of wonder is what will the ghosts do if, if they actually realize that someone can see them? Will they attack him him or her or what will they do? You know, so like these type of questions suspenseful questions and these type of Mysterious things and here again, you know, these ghosts are all lining up to be eaten by a ghost Why you know what's the reasoning behind it? These type of weird stuff is very fascinating, you know, and I I think yeah, like this, this, this is probably one of the most unique. Uh, even though I've not seen much many horror shows, you know, in a like you know slice of lifey comedic way, this is probably one of the most interesting horror, you know, manga slash anime that I have seen. Interesting. I'm not saying it's scary or anything. Like, yeah, ghosts are kind of freaky at sometimes, but it's not that scary. You know, especially because of the, you know, vibrant colors, the, what do you call it? Like all the characters and like, you know, they're all, because of all these things, the scare factor of the ghosts kind of, kind of like, you know, go down a little bit. But it's interesting, especially because of these type of things, unique things that we see. Like suddenly we see a ghost, a bigger ghost eating smaller ghosts. And the ghosts are, it's not that it's just eating them. They're lining up for it, you know? Like you're, you're like you're lining up for an ice cream or something. They're just lining up to be eaten. Like why even? Like these type of questions. These these really like you know are very interesting. And I wonder if they're ever going to answer these questions or not. Probably in the future. As, as I said, I've not read the manga much. Maybe they actually answer these questions in the future chapters. Who knows? I'm not sure how many chapters this anime will adapt. But hopefully, like you know, we get some answers or something. And. Uh, Yeah, okay, that was that. And uh, then comes the next portion with the cat, with the kitten. And again, this portion, I realized what was happening from midway as I remembered stuff. That this guy here, um, okay, so one thing, the ghost was act actually <clears throat> following the cat. You know, it's kind of going, I wonder why, 
you know that's another thing and obviously as we know like at, at least i've heard that like you know especially animals animals and babies you know like human babies they probably have like uh like you know they can probably see these type of spirits and stuff you know like I, at least i've heard of something like this like i think that can, there's some somewhere i've you know i've heard that someone's saying that that's why sometimes like you know cats and dogs kind of like you know randomly meow and bark looking at nothing because probably they're seeing some type of spirit there and that's why probably sometimes babies as well like you know little babies they also start suddenly crying or suddenly laughing because of something like that like these type of things i've heard about it you know and you know as we can see in this later section the cat was kind of trying to reach for that ghost probably because it could like you know sh uh, the cat could see the ghost but yeah anyways that's something completely different the main thing here is we see two people coming up one was the yakuza type <laughs> the guy who kind of looked like a yakuza with all the tattoos and like scratches and stuff and the other was this prim proper guy you know who looks like a very kind person but the things that were happening were completely opposite the 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 rough like you know, the rough scruffy guy like you know the yakuza looking guy he he had these type of um cat spirits i i think they call them neko nekomata let me just check they're a kind of a yokai i think mm, nekomata yeah these are uh, dom domestic cats that have grown old and transformed into a yokai uh... yeah nekomata has two tails there you go I, I kind of recognized it from the two tails that it was a nekomata so like what was happening with the, the right, yakuza looking guy is that he had the two nekomatas kind of on top of him you know kind of like like some kind of angel cat spirits and miko was able to see that and that's why at the beginning when hana was saying oh my god that that guy looks like he, he's going to kill me or something you know and I was uh, Miko was like no wait a minute but then the other guy came and interrupted that scene and he had a lot of evil spirits on top of him which basically tells us that don't judge a book by its cover you know and uh, the even the ghost which was actually following the cat he even got diverted and just went with him I wonder what's going on with him you know like yeah so anyways that was that and the cat like you know he, she kind of hands it to the the yakuza looking guy and we in the end we actually realized the scratches were like it felt as if the scratches were something that he got from fighting people or something you know like probably like knife wounds or something <laughs> but it was actually not something like that it was just cat scratches and i i, I think like she he probably like takes in cats and just like you know keeps them with him or something that's why like so many scratches and stuff like maybe the cats at the, at the beginning usually cats are not friendly unless you get a, they get accustomed to you so maybe when he tried to rescue them or help them they kind of you know, scratched him or something that's why i'm guessing those scratches and the tattoos are i guess normal tattoos that he just like you know hobby or something so yeah he's just a normal dude he's just a nice dude and yeah I'm, I'm guessing like you know like he, he must have probably also went to other people like you know after seeing like yeah this cat needs a home can you adopt like you know the cat he must have gone other places and people probably did not actually give the cat to him because you know because of his appearance people got scared just like hana did and yeah he he seemed really disappointed but here like you know miko as miko could see the nekomatas he gave it to him and he i think this this, this is the first cat that he got or something i don't know but yeah and named her nyasuke <laughs> and then we see the, the like you know her his wife's spirit with the nekomatas and you know in the end we see like uh the incense and in front of their pictures like kind of indicating that 
they are no more in this world neither the cats nor the wife so and you know the wife and the cats are kind of look like you know kind of keeping an eye out for him in spirit form kind of sad in a way bittersweet the last section so yeah that was it so that was it guys so thank you guys for watching um <laughs> i love the fact that uh like you know i said this before i think as well like i love the fact that it's actually a horror comedy you know it's it's not only horror and it's just like you know light-hearted portions as well especially with all the different camera angles with the <laughs> deliberate um camera angles if you know what i mean and <laughs> <laughs> the comedy factor as well it kind of lightens the mood in a way in a weird way and yeah it's, it's interesting and as i said i love the mystery portion of this it, it has a, a lot of things going on in the background which you have no idea about like the different like behavioral pattern of the ghosts really interesting to see the behavioral pattern like yeah like it's so unique like like you know like ghost is kind of like a um, what can I say? Abstract thing, like, you know, who, which most of the people have no experience about. So it's interesting to see that an author is actually making these type of unique, you know, mysterious like, things and the ghosts having some kind of behavioral patterns and all. Even though there's like no reference to it. Usually like you know what mangakas do is like whenever they're, they're writing about something, you know, like probably some place, some like you know something or some kind of like especially detective mangakas you know like they kind of research on that stuff and like take reference from it but this thing like you know what what can you even take reference from so it's really like i'm i'm really like you know like it's one of the most interesting parts of this show is that the mangaka is doing these type of things with the ghosts and we can see like the ghosts having some behavioral patterns they're like doing some things for some reason and there's this whole mystery thing going on and yeah that's the best part so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to miruko chan episode number two so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of miruko chan so until then goodbye and have a nice day